Freud once said that the common feature of all great scientific revolutions is that they invariably knock human arrogance off one pedestal after another of our previous convictions about our own self-importance. That's why Freud said the first great revolution was Copernicus and Galileo, because it taught us that we didn't live on the central body of a small universe, but we're off on some peripheral hunk of rock. And then Freud said the second great revolution was Darwin's, because, quoting him, it relegated us to descent from an animal world. Science affects society in many ways. The most direct way, of course, is technology. I think Marx, for all the things he was wrong about, <laughs> was absolutely right in saying that uh, the means of production pretty much determine the nature of social relations, ultimately, and means of production change through altering technology. Evolution is not about progress in Darwin's sense. In Darwin's sense, under the theory of natural selection, evolution is adaptation to changing local circumstances. That's all it is, and that doesn't include a principle of progress. For example, suppose there's a herd of elephants in Russia and it's getting cold because there's going to be an ice age. Then there's natural variation among those elephants and how much hair they have. The ones that are hairier on average, not every single time, leave more offspring because they do better as the cold advances. And a hundred generations down the line, you get woolly mammoths because the amount of hair accumulates. Now, suppose that happens. The woolly mammoth isn't the cosmically better elephant. It's just an elephant better adapted to the local circumstances of the cold in Russia. It is not possible to operate like an objective fact-gathering robot. And if we think we can, then we're just deluding ourselves and we're going to be more subject to the prejudices we don't even know we have because we're not scrutinizing them. Sometimes a social prejudice is very useful. I, I, my favorite example is that when Darwin coined the theory of natural selection, he was very much influenced by Adam Smith's theory of economic development, which he knew about through social context. Darwin's theory of natural selection is very much like Adam Smith's laissez-faire principle. That is, if you want to have an ordered economy, Adam Smith tells us, let individuals struggle for personal profit.